If you like stories about animals or stories about space If you like reading stories then you've come to the right place So sit back and relax my friend, are you ready? Let's go! It's time for story time with our good friend Officer Joe It's story time, it's story time It's time for story time with our good friend Officer Joe Officer Joe. Hey there, friends. My name is Mr. L, and I would like to welcome you to Officer Joe's Story Time. Now, before we get started, be sure to click on that big red button down there that says subscribe, and that way you can see all the videos that Officer Joe and I post. And Officer Joe, what? Those are <laughs> those are my lines. Well. I really just wanted to pretend to be like you because you're one of my best friends. Oh, well, Officer Joe, you're one of my best friends too. Uh, so friends, do you think Officer Joe did a good job sounding like me? Yeah, me too. I think he sounded great. You did awesome, Officer Joe. Why, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, so Officer Joe, you did great pretending to be like me. And that is what friends are for. We can pretend to be like each other, but we're always there for one another. So, what kind of book are we going to be reading today, Mr. L? Well, hey, I'm glad you asked, Officer Joe. So today, we are actually going to be reading a book called Bear Feels Scared. And it's written by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. So, this book tells about a story of Bear and all of his woodland creature friends. Oh, okay. Does he have a lot of woodland creature friends? Oh yeah, he actually does. He has lots of friends and he actually goes out, out of his den and he gets lost in a storm. <gasps> oh no! I hope he doesn't get hurt! Oh no, 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 he doesn't get hurt. He just gets scared because he gets lost out in the wilderness. Oh my goodness! Well, what happens in the book? <laughs> well, Officer Joe, that's why we're here. We're going to read the book together and we're going to find out what true friends are for. Oh, okay. That sounds really good. Can we read the book now? Of course we can, Officer Joe. So friends, are you ready to read our book? So we're going to be reading Bear Feels Scared. So come on, let's jump right in. In the deep dark woods by the strawberry veil, a big bear lumbers down a small crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. He is not home yet when the sun starts to set, and the bear feels scared. Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, What is this? Are there spooks on the prowl? The path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, Poor me! And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. It's late, Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Should a bear be home? Wren tweets from his perch. We all must go and search. What if bear feels scared? The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend bear. But Bear is all alone, and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest, and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind, how he longs for a friend, and the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp, and he shouts, Let's go! All the birds search high, while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild, wet weather. They call, 
Ho bear, are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. But he perks up his ears. Is it Mole calling out? Is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear him shout? Wren, Owl, and Raven all squawk from the sky. It is Bear! He is there! And they sigh big sighs. By a tree waits Bear, ten feet from his lair. And the Bear looks scared. With a flap and a flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs. They calm his bear fears. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe. The end. So Officer Joe, did you enjoy that book? Oh yeah, I really enjoyed that book. Oh yeah, me too. So what was your favorite part? Well, my favorite part was when all the woodland creatures and they went out looking for Bear when he was lost. Yeah, me too. And I loved when they found him and they gave him bear hugs when they found him to make him happy and not scared anymore. Oh yeah, that was a really nice part too. Yes, friends. So this book talked about what friends are truly for. They're there for you when you need them the most. So like when Bear was lost out in the wilderness, his friends came looking for him and they made him not scared anymore. So that's what friends are for. They're always there for you. So friends, how about you go down in the comment section and tell us who your best friend is. Hey, Mr. Allen, can I tell you something? Uh, sure, Officer Joe, what's up? You're my best friend. Oh, thank you, Officer Joe. You're my best friend too. So yeah, friends, get in that comment section and you tell us who your best friend is. So, Officer Joe, before we leave for today, can you tell us a good old fashioned Officer Joe joke? Oh yeah, I always have great jokes. Are you ready, friends? Okay, so, <clears throat> so, why was the teddy bear never hungry? Because he was stuffed. <laughs> That was pretty good, Officer Joe. I really liked that one. Did you like that one, friends? Yes? Oh, so, Officer Joe, our friends at home, they loved your first joke. Do you have another one for us? Do I have another one? Of course I have another one, friends. Are you ready? Here we go. <clears throat> so, what did the lion say after he ate the clown? I feel funny. <laughs> ah, that that was very funny, Officer Joe. He ate a clown, and clowns are funny, so he felt funny. Ah, that was a very good joke. I loved it. Did you love that joke, friends? Actually, I think we both love both jokes. Right, exactly. So, that is it for this round of Officer Joe Storytime, friends. So thank you for coming by and joining us and reading Bear Feel Scared. So until next time, make sure you hit that big red button that says subscribe so that you can follow up on the rest of our videos and see everything that we post. So until next time, friends, we'll see you later for our next story. Yeah, bye friends, we'll see you next time.